All right, this morning, well, I knew Chelsea had a consult for her braces. Um, I had it on my calendar at 9 a.m. And I, I don't know how, I got the text alert yesterday to remind me about, oh, I didn't get you socks. Did you get them? Yeah. Okay. I got the text alert to remind me and I just didn't look at the time. So then I got another text alert this morning at eight uh, to remind me of her appointment. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that this morning. I just forgot about it. I was just tired. Had it like, you know, woken up enough to like look at my calendar. What do I have on deck today? Cause I knew I didn't have like super early morning appointments. <laughs> no, I did. Her appointment was at 8 a.m. and it was 8.05. And I was like, how did I get this wrong? I still don't know how I've gotten that wrong. For but some reason I woke up earlier today and I was just I like, know, I heard you awake. I'm like, why is she awake? It's late start for her. Well, no, I, w I didn't even go out. I just kind of went to the bathroom. Like, yeah, I heard you go to the bathroom. Oh. And so I was like, what is going on? And so then I quickly called the office and I'm like, if she had an 8 a.m. appointment, they're gonna be there and called them. And she's like, yeah, you do. She's like, but it is your lucky day. Uh, we can actually push you out to nine if you can be here. Um, I have an open spot at nine. And I was like, fantastic, Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea, get up. She was already downstairs. Eating breakfast. Eating breakfast. She was already like on her way. Well, that's what I do is I wake up super early, get I know. ready. Well, because she regulates her, herself, so she goes to bed at 8, 9 o'clock at night, so she is well rested 12 hours later to wake up. Yeah. Um, she's a good kid that way, but we're going to go to this consult appointment. Um, I'm not worried about the braces and all that kind of jazz, but I am worried now if you have my genetic and you have the same jaw problem. You have two more kids to determine. I don't think I do. I know. Abby's was painful at the age of 13. She knew that there was something wrong. I mean, mine's not painful. But I don't know if it's supposed to be painful that, that early in age or if, I don't know. Like, my brother didn't get his done until he was in his 40s. And I don't know if he dealt with the pain differently or if he wasn't in pain all that time. And he's a clarinet player professionally. So... Which I, he uses his mouth, so I don't know. We're gonna find out. Yeah, I shut the garage door. We're gonna go find out, one, when she can get the braces on, and then two, if, she, that's my seatbelt, I'm gonna pull over, I forgot. And two, if she has the same genetic uh, issue, <laughs> don't get we will be going down this player. path again. Luna sees me. Oh, the dog? Yeah. I'm feeling kinda crazy. You got me feeling like my head is spinning around The way you look is so amazing, amazing I could stare into your eyes for hours and hours Everything is kinda hazy We're just dancing in the dark in the flashing lights I know you can't hear what I'm saying, I'm saying So I'm just gonna... Chelsea, oh, you can answer all. Um, Do you have the same genetic problem Abby has? No. no. She has a normal jaw. She has normal biting. She will have a normal two years in braces. Good news. Yeah. Right? Even though she doesn't want, I mean, I mean no one really I wants want braces. braces. I don't care if I do. I'd rather have them so that it fixes the problem faster. But like, Yeah. You just know that it's going to be I annoying. I just don't want it to be painful. Yeah. And it is. It's just not a fun process. But the doctor was very much like, Oh, I'm so glad myself that she doesn't have the same problem as Abby does. This is the same ortho and she was asking about Abby and how is she doing and I bet she's so excited to get the the splint off. She gets that off. I was hoping to do it this morning. I actually would have had to have dad take you this morning. So, um, we'll be back here in a week, hopefully less, for Abby's splint to come off and get the rest of her braces finished. But for right now, we are set for her. Um, I have to just, we have to just get insurance lined up and find out what our, you know, how all that will work. And then I'll be able to schedule your appointment and get you in here and get braces on. What if you had braces on before our trip? What trip? Oh, Japan? Mm-hmm. That'd be okay? Probably. Because as soon as we get everything lined up, I can get you scheduled. Yeah. That'll be okay? Probably. Okay. Okay, so just got home and I was gonna tell Jason something that happened to um, the orthodontist this morning <laughs> and tell you guys about. Um, so one, is your foot feeling fine? It's feeling good, it's about to get, nothing happened. All of a sudden it just got better. 
<laughs> it's good. It's good news. I think he just wanted me to take a day off, and then it's like, okay, cool, now we're good. Yeah, he he decided to take the day off yesterday, and he was still in the boot. It was still kind of hurting and aching, and then he literally like you showered last night and you came down and he was like walking in bare feet and I was like what are you doing and he was like it doesn't hurt anyway so the orthodontist today maybe she, I need a shower more than once a week <laughs> don't think it's the shower <laughs> um but anyway the orthodontist today she came in and she was like holding her back and she was moving really really slow and I was like, are you okay? And she's like, no, I tweaked my back this morning. I don't know what's wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm going to do my best through all these appointments today. She's like, welcome to being old. And then, so then I was like, oh, of course she threw me under the bus. <laughs> I didn't say, I say you at all at, at first. At first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 listen, listen. She threw herself under the bus. Listen to the story. I tell everyone you can about me. Listen to the story. Friend. I also tell about my brother too. Anyway, so... She was like, yeah, but you want to know how it happened? And like the, the assistant kind of chuckled and she's like, yeah, I'm going to tell, I'm going to throw myself under the bus and tell you how I tweaked my back this morning. She's like, no, I didn't roll over in bed and have it hurt or whatever. She was like, I loaded the dishwasher and I reached down and I lifted the lid to shut it and an instant electric shock all the way up my back and I fell to the ground. Oh no. She was like, instant pain. She's like, I was worried I wouldn't be able to get off the ground. But I, <laughs> she's like, it was 7.15, I had to be here, and I feel bad because she rushed because it was for our eight o'clock consult that she was rushing to get to work for. We were the first appointment of the day that we ended up missing, late. I know. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad that you rushed here. And she's like, oh no, it was fine, I had time. But um, anyway. So then I told her about Jason and his foot and she was like, well, yeah, like exactly. Like the amount of people that I hear <laughs> that this happens to after the age of 50, she's like, it's absolutely stupid. 50. You are 50. You are 50. It doesn't matter. But she was just like, the amount of times I hear people say that they got injured in the stupidest way is like increasing now that I'm older. And <laughs> she just was laughing so much. But I am very grateful that there is no genetic. Even she was like, oh, hallelujah. Oh my goodness sakes, your family needs a break from this genetic jaw issue. Um, but Chelsea, Chelsea has like very basic braces. Basic, the jaw is in the right place. The teeth just need to get moved. She doesn't even need to have extractions or wisdom teeth or anything out right now. We are straight to braces. So that's a good thing. But we are going to start working on a few things. We don't have to go to... Are we going to get her her mattress or no? Wait for the next credit card statement? <laughs> yeah, there's too much going on. Uh, um, we have to get a car towed and pay for that. So. Oh, yeah. We forgot to tell you guys. Abby's... Or our car, our Honda Pilot is dead. I think it's the electrical issue because the battery is testing fine. But it won't turn on. So Honda can get us in tomorrow. But we have to get the car towed. So, fantastic. Fantastic way. Good and bad news this morning. Also, if you happen to see all of our patio furniture in here, I we had a windstorm last night and the night before, and so I finally decided to just bring these in. They've been in front of the fireplace drying. Um, because this guy right here, I went to bring this one in from outside, and it hadn't been raining for like two hours last night, and so I was like, oh, okay. And it kind of was dripping and I was like, oh, can I let it kind of drip off? I just thought it was from the outside. The whole thing was filled with water. It dripped for like 30, it was like gushing water for like 30 seconds. And it like gushed all over the floor right here because I didn't know that it was filled with water when I was bringing it in. Anyway, so then I just, these guys weren't like soaking wet. They were just cold. And so I just tossed them all right here and I'm just letting them like dry at room temperature um, inside here and then I will take them and bag them up and put them in the garage um, just because they were literally like these little benches were starting to like tip over from the wind the cushions were like flying up and they would have got come off of it had the table not been like kind of holding them on and then the umbrella was going crazy Jace I wouldn't mind unhooking the umbrella and taking it to the garage 
just to protect the umbrella and to like, well, yeah, now that your foot's feeling better, he's yeah. not in a good mood. It's not one of my priority list. We need to get the car towed. Okay. Okay, we've been waiting for a couple hours now for a tow truck to come and get the pilot. Right smack dab in the middle of something. Actually, a whole lot of some things. But I'm going to rush out here with Jason. Tow truck just got here. I'm going to film him coming to get our car real quick. And then we have to meet him. I think we have to take him over, meet him over at the Honda dealership. Let me shut that really quick. It's noisy. But um, we were able to call our insurance and we get a free tow on our insurance policy. So our insurance is working out quite well these days. And I don't believe it is a ding. Like I don't think it's a, like a claim. Maybe it is, but it's not like a ding on your record because it's not like an accident or anything. It's just a dead car. So. That saved us some money for sure. I'm trying to get my shoes. I kind of just rushed. So, problem is I don't think we can get the car in neutral. So I'm not sure how we're gonna get it onto the truck bed. So now the tow guy has actually got it started with charging it. Which the okay, I guess we don't need that guy anymore. He actually jump started the car, which we didn't jump start it because it said that the battery was dead, like dead, dead, like. You tested it and... You didn't test it. No, you tested it. No, I tested it and the battery thing said it was fine. Oh, that it was fine? Yeah, it took right. all this okay. off and it said it was fine. Otherwise, I would have bought a battery. I went through the little buttons and tested everything, adjusted but it. But the car still wouldn't turn on. That's why we call it like, that's yeah. why we're, okay. But he was able to jump start it and get it to turn on, which we haven't been able to do. Why well, don't have a jumper thing like that? I'll all right, I'm not really sure. <laughs> So anyway, the battery has been fine, which is why we thought something else was wrong with the car. So we didn't even try and jumpstart it because it said the battery was fine. But now the car is working. I have to stay here while Jason goes inside um, to get his stuff so he can drive it. We're, I guess we're going to drive it down to like O'Reilly's. <sighs> Although that's what my dad said not to do. Costco can't test your battery for you. I guess we'll go down at O'Reilly's. Have them test the battery, see if we need a new battery, get a new battery. If it isn't the battery, then we still keep our appointment with Honda and just drive it to Honda. Um, but it was doing the same like electrical stuff that it was doing the last time we got it fixed. So I still think there's an electrical problem that I personally think that is a warranty from the last time we got it fixed. So, Use the thing to jump it, I don't know. Okay, well, I have two hands on the wheel. Part of the problem we have when we're trying to call each other when we're in two different cars of our own cars that automatically hook our own phones to the Bluetooth in each car and music and everything Bluetooth <laughs> when we're following each other like this is that I constantly want to connect to his car and he wants to connect to my car. In our Tesla, it's even more of a problem, but he's in my pilot pilot um, so we were trying to talk to each other and it was wanting to like anyway disconnect and I had music playing in my car and all of a sudden I can't hear it which means it's connected to his car <laughs> anyway I I'm not gonna give Jason a ton of, a ton of I'm not gonna give Jason a bad time about not trying to jump start the car um, but we are gonna ask O'Reilly's like why would this battery tester say the battery is fine if the battery is in fact dead? Or why would it say it's good if, like, even if it says it's good, does that still mean it could be jump started? Like, I guess we're interpreting the tester in incorrectly. Like, I guess we're testing it as if it says it's good there's something else wrong with the car if the car won't turn on. Or I don't know why he didn't think to, I don't know, anyway. I don't know why he didn't think to jump start the car. I'm kind of annoyed that I'm watching him drive this car <laughs> after it's been sitting dead for two days and we've had to re rearrange Kaylee and Abby's schedules to like have them ch share cars. But if it's just a simple battery, then fine. And I don't think we're in warranty period with this battery because we don't even remember the last time we changed this battery, so. <sighs> whatever, whatever. 
it is what it is. Also, I'm following in case the card does just randomly die, which is what it was doing with the electrical problem, which is what we were making the appointment for today with Honda. But also, if they have to take the battery out of the car and leave it with wherever we're taking it, whatever hard, like, car store, O'Reilly's, I don't know where, AutoZone, I don't know what place we're taking it to. I'm just following him. But sometimes they have to take the battery out and leave it with them to test it. Um, Jason's like, no, they can just come out. I'm like, I don't know. So in case we have to leave the car without a battery in it, then I have this one. And I actually have a few errands that I could run um, while we wait for that, if we have to wait for it. All right, turns out it's not the battery, it is the alternator. So we are keeping our appointment with Honda. I'm actually gonna, well, I need to go to the post office, but we need to get the, ow, I forgot about that. We need to get the car over to the Honda so that they can figure out what's wrong with it. I don't even think they're gonna look at it until tomorrow. Um, so we need a new alternator, but luckily the guy was able to test it. And he's like, yeah, it's totally your alternator. It's not charging the battery. Which makes sense. I don't know that we've ever done the alternator on this car, so mm, whatever. Might as well keep spending money, right? Rebate? Oh yeah. Make it for Abby. That's for Chelsea. That's for me. All right, we've kind of had the weirdest, longest, kind of stressful kind of day. We just got. Did you set this up in Ash in Chelsea's room? Yeah. Her mattress. It's too. We don't know. We were gonna wait until the next it's credit too card. Low. She can't go, it's like... What do you mean, too low? It's, like, the desk okay. is up here, and then she's, like, down here. Oh, well, we can work on that. She might actually sit at a desk. But anyway, we were worried. There's only seven of those mattresses at Costco, and I get that they have, like, a warehouse. They could bring more out, but... <sighs> January is, like, mattress month, and so, like, I didn't want to, like, lose the chance of getting the mattress when we could afford it. <laughs> so we just were putting it on the credit card. Not that we're going to carry the balance. We're just... Just get it, but in all the chaos of dropping the car off and going to Costco and getting that, did you put the naked drinks in the fridge? There's no room in the fridge, so I set them in the garage. They're oh, still there's, pretty chill. Okay. Um, ran to the post office. I'm trying to keep these cards in order <laughs> because, uh, did you guys, okay, that one is in there and that one goes with her. Okay, so ran to the post office. I did not get alerts for more than half of these packages and letters. So I apologize. One of them, I just didn't get over there to pick it up when it did come. And I don't know which one it was, but I got this one from Kate. So this one is so cute. Little uh, Christmas flamingos. So thank you very much for your cute messages inside to all the kids and to us as a family. So thank you for that one, Kate. Um, and this one is from Marlene. Thank you. It's fun because Marlene has seen... Ashley performing in Salmon Days before when I was gone. <laughs> wait, let me, wait, let me see. Yeah, that. is that who it was? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, was it a redhead that saw you at the parade? And she's, so she, yeah, that was Marlene. Um, so thank you for your cute little Christmas card. This is who saw Ashley at the oh, cute. parade. Her son lives here. Yeah, that's cute. It's down yeah. the Oregon coast. Um, and then Lynn, you do too much that she sent Abby some more cards. What? Yeah, so this one, she must know that these are my favorite now. So this one is a cute sending hugs. Look at this one. And it's a little bear. That is cute. Isn't that so cute? Yeah, this and then she also sent, there's a card, I just dropped it. And then she also sent this one as well. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's like a 3D. So I actually had tucked all the other ones that I had gotten because Abby ran out of room on her desk and she also had to like start like living life and having her makeup and her homework and things at her desk in her bedroom. So I had, she had to bring me all of these like 3D cards and to kind of store and keep them safe. And so I'm actually gonna take some of them, well store, store most of them, but some of them that are really fun and vibrant colors I'm gonna put up on my shelf. So I feel don't like what's inside. Don't what's inside. well it's fun to like open them up later on. I also just did an order on Amazon. Oh we were talking about for this. some books. We were I haven't finished the other book in the trilogy. We this isn't in the trilogy but I haven't finished the third one 
from the same author. I know you guys know what, who this author is, Bridget Van Wormer. We Van Wormer. About this on the book. I but I need like some tropical books to read. So there's that one, and then the same author, totally different story, not on Maui. I don't know where they go for this one, but I needed some books, and I got another one, but um, I'm giving that one away. That one's a surprise we for someone. We talked about on the bus that um, what? every, like, is it just, like, our parents who, like, or our mom, like, parents, um, always order something on Amazon every single day, and I they always show something. up the same day. And Smart like, Alex. Really the last time I ordered something, what, the probably the 90 times I've ordered something on Amazon, the last... I don't know, four months? For what? you guys. For you guys, for well, him. No, like, like Christmas presents. So you should tell your friends, support local, shop yeah. local. So, and so it's local. whatever, no, and I can't read books. This is, I'll show you the set. I'm gonna take it in my other room. We can take these um, and put them in with my little uh, display in my other room. Okay, I'm going to just show you the books. I don't know the order. I think this is the one I haven't finished. Um, but these are the books that I have absolutely loved. So, um, A Home in Hana, I think this is the first one. Back in Hana, and then Forever Hana. This is the cover that I like the most, obviously. Well, they're all, they're all pretty good. I have had a thought, what if I printed out a, a picture of the beach from one of our trips, even just like a screenshot from one of our videos, and put a, a big picture of the beach behind it, like big, really like poster size. Like you can order posters on Walgreens for like 30 bucks. And then it's stiff, but I don't necessarily have to frame it. And then I can put like a cute picture frame of our family in front of it, kind of offset kind of a thing. I think that'd be really cute. So I've got these two books, or the, those three, and that's a trilogy. And then I've got these two to add to it and I think it'll be fun to like just have these stacked up here on my desk but then I also found this guy if you don't know what I'm talking about I redid my office um so if you have if you see the Hawaii inspired craft room office space makeover whatever um I wanted to find this and display this guy so it's the Hawaiian islands and they're all wooden pieces these are all separate wooden block no, pieces every single island. and you use a grid system to like install it and put it in place on your wall um and i need to just get some sticky something or other to attach it to the wall and then i need to make a little grid just like kind of a rough estimate um, and put it on the wall we're gonna work on that project another day but i have to take ashley to cheer and it's been a long crazy day anyways i'm gonna sign off with you guys I can't even recapture everything that's happened today. It's been a good day. Everything's worked out, <laughs> but it's just kind of crazy. So thank you for joining our craziness. And um, I have no idea what's going to come in the future. So stick along for the ride because it's it's uh, an open book for both of us, for all of us. So see you guys next time.